Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. Send me your Bible questions. I promise I'll do you do my very best to give you a Bible answer and um, to at least, very least, tell you what I believe the Bible teaches. I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast. Please keep your questions Bible-related because this is a Bible-focused ministry. Okay, last time actually we had two questions and I only had time to get to one. Both of the questions were concerning the fifth chapter of Matthew, a couple of different verses. And uh, the second question that I want to address today, the listener asked me to explain Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. So let me read the words of Jesus. Matthew 5, verse 4. Jesus said, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. What does that mean? It means that if you are saved, genuinely saved, you're going to hate sin. You're going to hate sin in yourself. It's going to bother you. You're going to mourn over it. You're going to be grieved over your sin because the Holy Spirit is in you. And when you commit a sin as a Christian, the Holy Spirit is grieved. And the spillover of his grieving falls into you, and you experience that. You're grieved by your own sin if you are saved. You are grieved by the sins of the world. You know, I look around the world, and I see how things have changed so dramatically in the time that I have been alive. I grew up in the 60s, and they weren't perfect back then either, but my goodness, nothing like they are today. And I look around, and I see the sin that is acceptable behavior today, and just how things have become, and I grieve, and I mourn over it. And I know you do as well if you're a genuine Christian who loves Jesus. And here Jesus says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. In other words, it's not always going to be that way. These are words of encouragement from Jesus. Number one, they are encouraging words because if you mourn, if you mourn over sin, yours and others, and the sin in the world, that's a real good indication that you're saved. And if you died today, you'd go to heaven. You really know Jesus. Your faith is real. So it's encouraging for that reason. And secondly, it's encouraging for you to know that you're not going to always have to live in an environment like this. Someday righteousness will be the rule of the day and not sin. And so you won't be mourning in those days. In those days, you will be comforted because the bad will be over. The things that frustrate you, the things that they grieve you about sin, and evil in this world will be a thing of the past, and you will be comforted. And actually, this goes right along with um, <clears throat> verse 6. I've, I might read that too. Um, because Jesus goes on to say, Blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. See, that's kind of the flip side, the other side of the coin. You mourn over sin if you're genuinely saved, your own sin and the sin of the world, and also you hunger for righteousness, and you're going to be filled. Your mourning will be gone. Your desire for righteousness and holiness is going to be fulfilled. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. As always, keep your Bible questions Bible-related, obviously, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Coffee Break Q&A.